player is trying to recapture this natural right now. He doesn't know that there is a Spire out on the field, and there are indeed four meters, about to be five or six, on the way. And uh, when those meters come out, that could be uh, deadly to this Void Ray, but I don't see it doing any significant damage because of the amount of Stalkers and Sentries on the field. And of course, with three Warp Gates, TT1 can warp in uh, reinforcing Sentries or Stalkers at uh, with relative ease, and he should be able to deal with the meters quite well. TT1 revealing his Void Ray here at the center of the map. Looks like he is going to go for a straight up attack, but Master Asia going to intercept with three of his Mutalists, and he is going to take down this Void Ray with relative ease. The Void Ray is going to get taken out, and that is a small um, comeback right there from Master Asia. Nice. I, I guess he just kind of guesstimated and got the right units out, and he was able to deal with the Void Ray. So nice little maneuver there from Master Asia to pick himself back up just a little bit, but he is still so far behind. His Harvester count 30 under 37. He's just now remorphed in his natural expansion, and it looks like the Mutas are going to go for a counterattack, and the question is how many probes can Master Asia kill off? It looks like TT1 is morphing in two Photon Cannons, and he is getting some Phoenix out of the Stargate, not really losing too many probes, just about three, and the Harvester count now actually starting to even out just a little bit. It really looks like somehow some way even though master asia lost his natural expansion uh, now that he's got mutas on the field and of course speedlings from before he's got map control so he's able to drone up hard and catch up he doesn't have to produce attacking units because he knows the Protoss player is on the defensive right now. So that is the beauty of controlling the map. You're able to drone up and get yourself back into the game. And look at this. TT1 is possibly going to lose this natural expansion. Oh my goodness. So close. The Nexus at the red. And it looks like Master Asia going to let it go. But no, he's going to come back in with his flock of Mutalists. And he's going to he is going to take it down, forcing TT1 to cancel right there. And really, that is crucial. That right there is going to bring Master Asia right back into this game. That map control and forcing the cancel on this expansion because if you guys look at TT1 right now he has such saturation at his main his mineral fields are starting to run dry that is not a healthy amount of blue right there in that Protoss base and he really needs TT1 really needs to grab this natural expansion to get himself some fresh uh, influx or intake of economy minerals and gas he needs it so badly right now he might have the army advantage 85 to 91 no he doesn't even have the army advantage so master asia has picked himself back up into this game with his great map control his great timing on when to get drones and when to get attacking units right now he's at 41 drones over 36 he has a stronger economy than the protoss player and he's got map control with these mutas so even though he's lost his actually showing himself to be a premier zerg player to get himself back into this game i I know personally myself that would be a tall order to do uh, if you lost your natural expansion that most of the times calls for a GG but Master Asia here really showing himself for his full potential. It looks like both players are going to go for an attack here. This could be an interesting development here as the Muta is going to engage the, the Phoenix's TT1 pulling back with some nice micro Mutas and Phoenixes in the red right here. But meanwhile, the Zealots and Stalkers and Sentries making a counterattack. So both players here going eye for an eye could do a lot of significant damage to each other's bases. Meanwhile, the Zerglings running into the natural as well. Looks like TT1 could lose his Nexus for the second time today. Action all over the map. And the Hatchery as well could go down. So both players uh, looking at the eye of Pop possibly losing their natural expansions for the second time today and that could be a huge hit to both players economies the nexus has gone down for tt1 and the hatchery has gone down for master asia as well tt1 and master asia trading blow for blow right here but the real problem is tt1 is losing all of his harvesters 29 under 42 the speedlings are amongst the main expansion as well as in the front door oh my goodness meanwhile zealots pushing forward into the main it looks like all the stalkers seemingly went down all those mine crawlers getting canceled and the zealots now among the drone line so both players could lose all their harvesters look at the uh tt1's income right now he is zero 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 he has no harvesters to speak of so he has to end the game right now speedlings morphing out drones surrounding the zealots and this could be it for tt1 more spine crawlers morphing in as well I don't see Master Asia uh, losing this game right now. He does have some speedlings. I, I, I guess the Stalkers fell back to deal with these Zerglings and Mutas that originally were in the main. But I just don't see Master Asia getting back into, or uh, TT1 getting back into this game. He has no economy to speak of. Zero minerals, zero Vespine gas, and zero harvesters to 15 drones for Master Asia, who still has some some mineral patches remaining. And both players just looking at their bases. Look at the mini 
map. This is like a, a nuclear holocaust. There's just damage and destruction everywhere. Just remnants of the old and powerful TT1 and the swarm of the Zerg player Master Asia remaining from those last two battles. And it looks like, well, my goodness, TT1 actually has a pretty significantly large army. He's at 32 supply to 31 for Master Asia. He does have more attacking units, and it looks like he's just going to go for it right now. He knows this is his only opportunity. He does have some attacking units, but he's got to deal with these spine crawlers. Spine crawler in the red, Zerglings running up, and Force Fields going down to block the Speedlings from surrounding the precious Protoss arsenal. The, every single one of these units is so expensive and so precious right now. They are not replaceable. 55 minerals and 34 gas in the bank for TT1 right now. It is going to come down to pure mic right now. Spine crawler gets sniped out, and really right now TT1 needs to snipe out every single spine crawler. Each one is going to count so much, and he is going to go for the next one. One zealot getting taken out right there. Very costly zealot. That is not a hundred mineral zealot. That is a win or loss zealot. And it looks like two phoenixes coming in from the back to deal with the air as well. It's going to be close. Is the spine crawler going to go down? Drones getting pulled off the line as well as zerglings, and this sentry is almost dead as well as the stalker. Looks like the mute is engaging the phoenix along with the Corruptor, one of the Protoss armies going down, the Stalker goes down as well, so close right now, every single action for both of these players counts so much, it looks like TT1 is going to lose this Phoenix, my goodness, the Spine Crawler gets taken out, the Phoenix gets taken out, Drones and Zerglings once again getting pulled off the line, Master Asia fighting to survive, if he can kill off all of these Protoss forces, he is going to win the game by default, he can just attack with his Drones, but it looks like he is just doesn't have enough forces to do it, this game could not be any closer, ladies and gentlemen. TT1 here with two Zealots and two Stalkers. That is all he has left. Master Asia with not enough money to do anything else. He only has a Corruptor, some drones on the field, and a Spine Crawler. Oh, Spine Crawler almost taken out one of the sentries. Ooh, that's not good. Master Asia gonna reburrow to get a little bit closer. Not sure I agree with that decision as the sentries and Zealots are gonna start pounding away on the drones and the Stalker that is burrowing. The, the Spine Crawler lands and Master Asia forces it to attack the sentries first, killing off both the sentries, but now the two zealots remain. And what can Master Asia do? Let's take a look at the units tab, what units are on the field. For the blue Protoss player, TT1, we have two zealots, and for Master Asia, we have one drone, two zerglings, 12 useless overlords, and a useless corruptor. And it looks like the layer is going to go down. I thought for sure TT1 was going to lose that game in, in this game, in that last battle exchange, when he was losing all of his buildings, all of his probes. He had zero minerals, zero gas, and zero harvesters, but somehow pulling away with a victory from the jaws of death with his last dying Protoss breath. For ire, he said, as he walked into Master Asia's base and began to just assault the Zerg swarm. And it looks like the layer is going to go down. Master Asia with only two Zerglings and a drone. How can he possibly hope to beat the odds? Broodlings coming out though. And oh, the Broodlings might just be enough to kill off this. Uh, the Zealot is going to go down. Oh my goodness, the Zealot gets taken out. And that actually just brought a new thing to my attention. A lot of these buildings spawn Broodlings when they die. So TT1 actually... He's in a bit of trouble. He only has 